Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video we have another installment of Mandolin Gear Talk, and this time we're taking a look at another fine product by Singular Sound. In fact, uh, this is a really wonderful product, just like their Beat Buddy. They both are just exceptional products for you either to uh, use for live playing with your mandolin or your band or uh, maybe another musician or just for practicing at home by yourself. It's really great. You can create tons of great loops on this thing and it's, it's actually more like a DAW that you can operate um, with your feet. And I'm gonna explain all about that in this video coming up. I'll give you a, a couple of examples on how you might want to use it and uh, how you can benefit from it and how your mandolin playing can benefit from practicing along to a looper like this. But first, if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for checking us out, but don't hesitate to hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner of your screen. It really helps this channel continue to grow. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back, but don't hesitate to check out all of those links down below, including the link for the looper here from Singular Sound and many other products down there as well from Sweetwater and Amazon. You can also find a link to my lesson series, my Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin lesson series, still only $29.99. It's a great deal if you want to improve your mandolin playing. And also down below, a link to my Patreon site where you can get tabs for, well, nearly a hundred mandolin songs or songs that I've transcribed for mandolin. Many of those transcriptions, those tabs are not available anywhere else on the net. So uh, those are exclusive to my Patreon patrons. And for a small monthly fee of $5 or more, you can get access to all of that stuff as well as some exclusive lessons over there. But that's enough business. Let's take a look at this fine product from Singular Sound coming up here on RPM. All right, I have the Eros Loop Station set up here at my feet in my Japanese room in my Tokyo home. You can see the straw mat floor behind it. Next to it, I have the Beat Buddy configured as well. The two of them, as I mentioned, made by Singular Sound and they work seamlessly together. They are great partners and great partners for you to have lots of fun with your looping and recording. All right, the Beat Buddy in this case is connected via MIDI and it is controlling the Eros Looper via MIDI. Now you could set it up as a transmitter and the Eros as a receiver or set it up in the reverse. You can have the Eros as the transmitter or the controller of the Beat Buddy, but I prefer to use the Beat Buddy first and the Beat Buddy will send signals to record and to play and to stop to the Eros Loop Station, all right? So let's take a look at how it works. All right, you can see the Eros Loop Station has several buttons. You've got uh, four gold buttons on the face plate there, and it is a very uh, nice looking uh, unit here too. And it's not that big. It could fit on your pedal board if you wanted to play live with this, with this Loop Station. And it really is a great device for playing live. You can back yourself with your own band if you want. Um, you have the four buttons. The two buttons on the lower right are RPO, record, play, and overdub buttons, when you are in two by two mode. I'll explain that in a second. The button on the left, the bottom left, that one there, as you can see, I'll point to it with my foot. That one there is for changing song parts and uh, for also bringing up the controls, the mixer and other things. And again, I'll show you that in a second. The top left button there, point to it with my big toe, that one there is for start and stop and also for erasing and starting over a track if you uh, made a mistake and you want to do that. All right, so let's take a look at how the functions work. If you click on that little pencil on the top right corner there, it'll open up your menu and you can scroll through various settings. You have the 2x2 two two and 6x6 six six settings. What that means is in 2x2 two two mode, you have two tracks and two song parts. In six by six mode, you have six tracks and six song parts and uh, unlimited overdubs on both of those modes. So that is really great. If you just want a simple loop with a couple of parts and a couple of overdubs, you can use two by two. And that one is pretty easy to learn. The six by six mode is a little more difficult to learn, but still it's not that difficult. I mean, if I can learn it, anybody can. But the six by six mode is really great because it's basically like having a di digital recorder at your feet or a digital audio workstation at your feet um, to record six different parts and six different overdubs or six different uh, tracks 
on each part, an unlimited overdub. So it's really great, and I'm going to demonstrate both of those for you in this video, all right? Okay, so I've got a new song set up here, and I'm all ready to go. And again, if you want to see more of the functions there, check out some of those other videos from Singular Sound or other uh, players on YouTube. They will explain a more in-depth look. Or they'll take a more in-depth look at how all the settings on the Eros work. Okay, so what I've got here is in 2x2 two two mode. I'm going to play a song starting off with the Beat Buddy. And the Beat Buddy will send um, an intro to the Eros. The arrows won't start recording until actually the song starts, until the beat begins on the beat buddy, which is very cool. So that's when you want to start playing. All right, so here we go uh, with the beat buddy. Okay, so I've got my recording there. Okay, so maybe I want to overdub that. Okay, so let's overdub another similar part. So I'm going to press the button on the right. And I can overdub this at any time that I want. Here, so I'm going to hit the middle button. Okay, so there you go. I have two parts recording. recording now I want to change the levels on these because one seems a bit louder than the other so I'm gonna to go to the mixer I'm gonna hit that left button hold it down you can see the mixer function comes up on the right all right so I'm gonna click that and it'll show you the two tracks that are playing all right so I'm gonna mix down the first track which is basically my rhythm mandolin there and let's see if I can do this with my down and do this all right so I've leaned down and I've mixed those two tracks for you on the left and the right the uh, rhythm mandolin is now down a little bit in the mix and the melody is playing all right and I could overdub uh, a few more times on this if I wanted to but I'm just gonna leave it at that I'm gonna try to go to the next song part here so this button here on the left is for your next song part and all you got to do is just press on that and it'll hit it'll come in at the right time when the next part of the song is coming you can see the record coming there okay so let's do this next part okay and you're back to the first song part again all right so let's see in that second part again Let's see how that sounded. It'll come up after the end of the loop on part one. Here's part two. Okay, that sounded pretty good. All right. Okay, there you have it. There is Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones, at least a couple of parts of it, using the Beat Buddy and the Eros Loop Station in 2x2 two two mode. I've been able to create a couple of really interesting uh, parts for you and played some melodies over the top. Now, I just want to note that the Beat Buddy actually has Paint It Black um, in its collection of popular songs. And, um, you know, the, the Beat Buddy folks have really broken down the songs into various parts, all the parts from the original tracks. I'm just using a basic rock beat here just to demonstrate the Eros for you. Um, but the Beat Buddy really does have all of those parts in the song, uh, the Rolling Stones song and many other songs from start to finish, if you wanted to jam along with that. But for now, that's how the 2x2 two two mode works on the Eros. Okay, everyone, so I've got the Eros looper all set up in 6x6 six six mode down here at my feet. And you will see, once I get playing on the screen, it's six song parts and six individual tracks for a total of 36 possible tracks. 
Plus, you have unlimited overdubs, meaning you know, it's an unlimited variety of uh, sounds and songs or song parts that you can record here, unlimited variety of tracks as well, all on this Eros Looper. So it's a really cool little device, and I will show you that in a minute in more detail. But first, let's record something. I'm going to record a little original idea I came up with, and I'll do a few parts for you here. I'll do some backing parts, and then I'll overdub some lead parts, all right? And I'm going to try to play all the way through each part before I get to the overdub. So let's see if I can do that with the mandolin. And I'm going to trigger it with the Beat Buddy here. You might be able to see that on the left side. A bit of the shot of the Beat Buddy there. I'm using the Beat Buddy uh, to trigger the arrow. So the Beat Buddy will do a count in here, and then it'll start recording once the song starts going. So that's when I start playing. So here we go. Right there, I think I got five song parts, including a little ending bit there. So there, I just popped up the screen now, so you should be able to see that. There are six little circles there if you toggle through, right? You've got six parts. I've used five of them. I didn't use all six. So there's my first part there on the top blue. So if I press the beat buddy again, I'm just going to get it back to the beginning. Here we go. Okay, there's my intro part now, right? Now I want to go ahead to the second part here. Okay, I cue that up and then I hit play and it'll play it. So you've got to hit it twice, otherwise it'll go into record mode. So there I just hit play mode, all right? I, I hit the right button twice to get into play mode. So let's go to the sec next part. You see the same thing, I had to hit it twice in order to get it to uh, into play mode. All right, then we're gonna to go to my third part again fourth part now you see all right so it's played all the way through four parts and then my fifth part will just be a little ending so I got to do a little tap dance here to turn off the beat buddy Okay, so there I have a second track coming here. I've just left it blank for the first few bars. And then I played a little lead lick over top of it, a little melody lick. You see, right like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to the next track. So I've laid down a little melody line over top of part four, all right? And then I'm gonna to go to part five and do another melody part over that in a second. Okay, so I've laid down a melody part over part five and or just, no, this is part four, I'm sorry. So I've got the four parts here, and then part five is just my ending, right? Right, that's the ending of my song. All right, so there you go. I have all the parts laid out. Now, if I want to go back to the beginning and just listen to it all, I'm going to go, I'm going to get the Beat Buddy queued up, and then I'm going to try to go back to part one here. So there we go. I got part one, which is just an intro. So let's do that. Let's play that. 
right? And then I want to play part two. All right, so it's playing in with my chords. And there you go, I have a little melody line playing over there. Then I'm gonna to go to next part, part three. Right, just gonna play it. All right, there you have it, the Eros Loop Station by Singular Sound, a really fun pedal to use, and especially if you use it in conjunction with the Beat Buddy, uh, your, your sounds and your beats and patterns are unlimited. Have lots of fun with it and let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching RPM once again. My name is Mike Dijon.